Now that we know how to expose inputs from a nested artboard to a parent artboard, let's explore some of the ways that we can manipulate these inputs on the parent artboard level. In this lesson, we'll look at using listeners to change our nested inputs. If you're already familiar with listeners, then this process is gonna be straightforward. Now we're gonna continue working with the file that we started in the previous video. Now I've created this button called All Off, and we're gonna use this as a target for a listener to control our nested artboards. So let's go ahead and create our listener. And what we're gonna do is on a pointer down, we're gonna make some input changes. Our goal with this button is to make sure that all of our children artboards are set to the off position. You'll notice if we go in our input change, you'll see all of the different exposed inputs from our different nested artboards. So let's start with the first artboard, select it and make sure that on pointer down, we set that Boolean to false. And then we'll repeat this step and add the second and third artboards and also make sure that a pointer down action will cause their respective Boolean to go to false. Now let's test the main artboard and see if we've got everything set up correctly. So we can manipulate our different buttons still. We can switch some of these to on. And then when we click the all off, they should go to the off position. Now you'll notice that all of our buttons don't need to be on for that all off button to work either. And so essentially what we have now is multiple levels of control. On the child artboard level, we have our interaction set up that can change our button from on to off. And we're achieving that with a listener that's changing the Boolean. And we're also using this same Boolean on the parent artboard level to change all of those nested artboard Booleans. Now remember, you could do this with any type of input that you want, so like numbers and triggers.